associate dean for the college. Um, I'm part of the bioengineering faculty, so I welcome you all. The students, students sitting in the audience, and only students right now. What is engineering? To like build things and better future. Build things and better everything. Not a bad answer. Not a bad answer at all. When we look at engineering. We consider, and people that are in this profession understand why, it's called the invisible profession. Anybody want to guess why we call it the invisible profession? People really don't think twice about what's going on. Not only do those people not think about it, but how many of you have ever thought about it? Have you ever thought about the fact that without a civil engineer, you would not have water coming into your house and be able to flush that toilet and have all that waste go away? Or Without the bioengineer, your grandfather, parent, brother, sister who has the pacemaker wouldn't be alive today. I mean, there are all kinds of things that go on with engineering that people really don't think about all the engineering behind it. And what do we do? Sit at our desk all day, solve equations. Create stuff. Create stuff. We make things. Okay. We work on tomorrow's problems. We're trying to find ways to make things better, to make them work more efficiently, more oh, effectively. <laughs> we search for ways to solve problems. That big key word right now, critical thinking, we try to use those critical thinking skills and really look to the future of stuff that we're doing today. You will work for your grades. I will never lie to an incoming student. This is not an easy college choice. This is a college choice that you are going to work, but the benefit of it are going to also be there in the end. One of my things that I, I oftentimes talk to incoming students, you pay the same tuition no matter what you choose for a degree here. You can pick biology, you can pick nursing, you can pick engineering, you can pick business. The tuition's the same. We're not a differential tuition. If you graduate with an engineering degree, your starting salary is going to be, and I have these slides up later, somewhere in the high 50s to low 60s for most of them. If you go with a biology degree, your starting salary is going to be around $30,000. That's a $20,000 plus differential for the same input. Rate of return looks really good there.